Hello everyone, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me and I love to bring art to everyone. So today I would like to show you creative painting tutorial which will lead to amazing result. I start by using this rolling brush and acrylic colors from Lucas Creel Studio. My canvas is size 50 by 50 centimeters and I start by putting these acrylics on my canvas and using this rolling brush. And I'm just going to use this rolling brush and spread my paint around my canvas. This is a cotton canvas which was primed so I didn't have to put any gesso on my canvas. And it will create beautiful background for my future idea. So I tried to create this smooth gradient color on my canvas and now it's time to use my masking tape and create shapes of leaves on the bottom of my canvas. Later I will apply another layers of this tape, but this is just the bottom layer of my painting. And this will be a tropical theme painting, so I just tried to come up with leaf designs and another smaller roller brush which will help me to spread the paint on canvas. So as we can see I created one big leaf on the side of my painting and then some thinner ones and smaller ones as well. Time to take these tapes off and you could also paint this with just a regular brush but this is so much fun and also it creates interesting shapes and the texture of your paint looks very different than if you painted it with just a regular brush. So I applied another layer of tape and created another types of leaves and this time I'm gonna use a lighter shade of yellowish green. It's all because of the contrast. It looks nice when you see contrasting colors on your painting. It is pleasing for your eyes. That's why I'm using this lighter shade of green. So the same process. And as you can see, it looks nice when you leave these spaces blank with the leaf in the middle. And I'm gonna use this acrylic marker. One is from Artistro, one is from Posca. I'll be using all sorts of markers which I've got. I will put some links in the description box for you if you'll be interested. And I'm just going to do this very easy thing. I'm gonna go around these leaves and highlight them. And also use these contrasting colors in my interesting shapes which represent flowers. I decided to use this old kitchen cloth which I once bought in sale for one euro and I decided to use it as a stencil because it has got these beautiful flowers on. So I'm gonna use shades of pink and magenta and I start by layering these colors on the top of each other. So I'm gently pushing and like stamping this color on my canvas trying to create interesting flower pattern and you can use whatever stencil you find at home and create these interesting shapes on your painting. Another one, this was from kids game and I once put it aside and I decided to use it as a stencil. So as you can see, there's so many options for stencils. You can tear the paper and create inter interesting borders. I'm trying to use complementary colors which will match my background. Some shades of yellow, orange. And 
This is actually a proper stencil which I once bought in art shop and you'll see it creates this beautiful pattern. If you choose the right mixture of colors, it will end up in complete harmony and beauty. Time to use my colored markers. These are from Artistro. I will put the link down in the description box for you if you'll be interested. And I always try to find a matching complementary color. So now you see the contrast between yellow and purple looks so beautiful. I also decided to use this gilding kit from Pebo. It creates this relief effect on my painting. It has got this glue. I will apply it on my painting and I need to let it dry for about one day. Now it's white, but when, once it gets dry, it's see-through and sticky. And later on you'll see that I will use a special golden sheet which will stick to my glue and create beautiful effect. I love to use this sheet in my paintings because it's at so much interest into my paintings. Now it's dry after one day, you see it's see-through and this is called embossing golden sheet and it looks like this on the other side and you need to put it with the gold on the top. I use my fingers to stick it onto the glue and then you take it off and voila here you've got your beautiful 3d relief effect on your painting so i'm going to apply another golden details here and there and this will be the last layer of my painting and Again, I will use my roller brush and apply another green color.
last little detail, my special signature. And this is the result of my special roller brush painting. And I absolutely love these golden details. And here you can see it in the corner of my art studio. And this was pure joy to paint such a colorful painting. I usually focus on fluid art and this time I stepped out of my comfort zone, but I have to say I'm very pleased with the result. It was very beginner friendly tutorial, so ho I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some interesting inspiration in my tutorial. As you can see, these details create so much interest inside of this joyful painting. Love all these details. Okay, so if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. I also have got Instagram page, Me Paintings, where you can see all of my artwork. I wish you lots of success with your art projects and can't wait to see you again. Bye!